<laughs> well, it's um, a beautiful day here in Kelowna. Oh, and, it's beautiful in Kelowna. And uh, I was very, very fortunate to be invited to stay at Susie and Lindsay's home here in Kelowna in a beautiful subdivision. And um, I want to say thank you guys. It was awesome. Well, thank hey, you for staying, Peter, huh? It's a pleasure having you, huh? And, um, yeah. We'll look Lindsay, to the next time we meet you. You bet, you bet. Wherever. And and Lin, Lindsay was very kind to help me with uh, setting up my GoPro camera that I just got. Uh, I'm going to be using that for future videos from the car. And um, yeah, just take a look around. This is my car right there. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much again. Hey, Thanks, Hav. Pleasure having you. Hav. Safe travels. Thank you, thank you. Well, Lindsay is a fanatic uh, motorbike rider, and he's been motorbiking for how many years? God, 60. 60 years, and yeah. you have in your years of motorbiking, how many bikes have you owned and sold? 50, 60. <laughs> and this is one of your latest bikes, but you, you've had it for quite a few years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't bought a new one now for, well, actually, I don't know, probably a few years, but that'll change. As soon as I get to Australia, I'm buying a new bike. Okay, and we're, we just got it um, serviced at the Honda and BMW dealership. Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about your, your BMW. Okay. Well, and uh, bought, and while bought, I do it, I'm just going to take a picture of, of the bike itself. So I you bought can... this bike um, because I needed something to transport my wife and myself when we, went, we go to up touring. And it's a comfortable bike to go around the two of us, uh, go away for two days, a week, whatever you want to do. My wife enjoys it. I have fun on it. And, you know, I love it. So what else can I say? It's a great piece of kit. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, thanks again for um, for spending uh, the time with, with me last night for dinner and and, uh, and and having me over at your place. Uh, that was it's, awesome. Uh, it's a pleasure, mate. It really is. And it's been an delightful um, journey learning about your car and about your trip. And go Audi because they got to look after you after this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Hey, thanks, Audi. And good riding. Yeah, you too. Hey, safe on your journey, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I had a really nice visit with um, Susie and Lindsay, and um, actually I just uh, came from Malibu Marine, where it used to be called Malibu Marine, now it's called Martin Motors in Atlanta. And I uh, haven't seen her for a while, and she looks great. Anyway, um, I'm off to go back to the Charger, I'm going to the Charger, they called Electrify Canada in the Canadian Tire uh, parking lot. I've got... Um, 157 kilometers on my car right now, and I'm going to top it up. Okay, look at that. There's uh, two electric vehicles at the charging station, and uh, I guess I'll be the third. Okay, just got here and um, I think my car is charging right now. I can hear it start and we'll see if, um, if it's actually started charging. Yes, it has. You see that green indicator? That indicates that my car has started charging. And it was super easy on my app, just swiped it, plugged in. We have I actually thought I, my charger was only going at um, 46% I switched chargers, but actually I was reading the wrong numeral should have been uh, more attentive Anyway, I did switch it and you can see my car is already at 75% and um, It's going at uh, 143 Kilowatts, which is amazingly fast here. It just went to 76 Well, I just finished charging at the uh, Electrify Canada station it was um, you can see there's a Canadian tire there. I had to get a few um, items. Went in, my car was at, uh, I don't know, 55% or 50%. Actually, it was 46%. And I think I spent like 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the very most in the Canadian tire, and my car was fully charged.
Well, it looks like um, I've come to the orchard um, fruit stand, and I hope I'm at the right one. So, um, gonna get some cherries and some peaches. Okay, so I'm gonna enter the market. Well, they, what they've got right now is a lot of uh, local cherries and apricots and, um, you know, I picked up um, some really nice peaches and also the, these yellow cherries, which um, I think I grabbed the last bunch, but uh, yeah. Here's another look over here, all sorts of fresh uh, produce. And uh, it's a very popular place. Don't need any corn, I was asked to buy corn. And yeah, I think the yellow cherries are a hot item. They're gone. Oh, here they are. So this is what I bought right there. Those, those yellow cherries are supposed to be very sweet. There's a nice little uh, pizzeria, pizzeria here. And it looks like there's some sort of souvenir shop in here with all sort of, sorts of uh, eclectic goodies and some fun clothing. Next to the market is this really cool old uh, vintage um, farm equipment. I thought it was pretty nice. You can see the highway, the main highway on the left. And where we're on is the old highway. And we're meeting up. And the Gatsky's fruit market, you know, is really out of the way, but it's really, really popular with visitors and tourists alike. I also, they had some really cool antique stuff on there, which I think I took one shot of, shot of but there's a bunch more. And if you check out my Polar Steps, I took a lot of still photos. And Polar Steps has been a great app to, that I found um, two years ago when I was trying to document Mary Ann's electric drive. And it basically takes photos and it then indicates where the photos I took them on a map of wherever I'm traveling. So in that case, it was all of North America. And you can scroll through the different areas of the map, click on you know, a circle and you can see the photos I took plus a little story. So that's what I've been doing um, on this trip as well. So definitely check out Polar Steps and if you go to the website Marianne's Electric Drive you'll see a direct link to the Polar Steps. And if you subscribe to Polar Steps you'll get notifications whenever I post a, um, you know, a new step. They call it a step. Every time you go to a different place it's called a step. That's just their terminology. Anyway, on my way to Vernon. Anyway, the new highway is really nice, and you're looking at Kalamaka Lake, Kalamalaka. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Kalamalaka, Kalamalka, Kalamalka. Anyway, it's very difficult, but it's um, beautiful. You can see a lot of the power boats and pleasure craft on the lake. And Lauren and Debbie have a really nice uh, boat, and hopefully tomorrow we'll get to get out on it. The uh, camera towards the, uh, the road now, and actually we're just coming up to the entrance to Predator Ridge, and they have two beautiful golf courses there, and I played only one of them, but it, they are just amazing. It's one of the nicest golf resorts in the Okanagan, and in some cases all of BC. Now I did say that Lauren and Debbie were living in Vernon, and they do say but they actually live in a suburb of Vernon called Coldstream and actually Coldstream was on evacuation alert not that long ago like, like last week I think for due to forest fires but um, everything looks pretty clear right now anyway here comes the turn off off the highway to go to Coldstream there's another Alberta plate in front of me and this area is really well known for visitors um, and especially visitors from Alberta. You know, um, the Okanagan, you know, is, um, you know, filled with lots of, uh, you know, great lakes. It's warm. 
Um, weather usually is, um, you know, not rainy. Um, and the people from Alberta just flock here. They love it. The highway is uh, quite, you know, um, I don't know, a few hundred meters above um, sea level. And now we're coming down the hill and you get a really good view of Kalamalaka Lake. I think I got it right this time. And again, you can see all the, you know, the pleasure power boats and pleasure craft. This area is really well known for paddle boarding. There's a shop called Calavita Surf Shop, and uh, which is right near the end of this lake. You may be going right by it. Anyway, they do a roaring business with paddle boards, and it is a great activity for the summertime. It's great for kids, women, men. There's races, there's uh, all sorts of activities that people can be doing on the paddle boards. I used to sell paddle boards actually, quite a few years ago, and it was uh, doing well. They were called Doyle, and they were made by um, a gentleman, uh, what's his name? His last name was Doyle, of course. That'll come to me later. Okay, we're at Kala Malka Road. And we're gonna go right next to that Calavita surf shop selling the paddle boards. They're right past the, uh, the trestle. There it is. On the right, and there you can see it. You know, those must be rentals, and that gentleman probably works there. Yeah, this is a Calabita orange t shirt with the store name on it. The beach is really busy right now. We're not far from Lorne and Debbie's now. Okay, we're getting to Lorne and Debbie, and there's Tannis right there. Hello, Tannis. Well, hello. You know what? See, you just put the door and doesn't have to get up. Can you take me over to Alex Tannis to go to the store? Yeah, sure. Okay, I just have to go to the car over there and get the bank card. Okay. I get to go for a ride in the pretty blue car. Yeah, you, you will. You will. Hold on. Okay. I'm here with, on my left, uh, Tannis, Tannis, Tannis and then Lorne and Debbie. And Lorne and Debbie were very dear friends of Mary Ann's. And... Uh, of course, I got introduced to uh, this wonderful family, um, you know, because I was with Marianne. And now I'm, and now whenever I'm through Vernon, I always stop in and say hello, and they're very kind to me. And uh, I'm staying here tonight. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to show you the sun right now. There's an eagle in the sun right now. Okay. Yep. Hold on. Okay. So we've got. The red sun ball. setting, it's a red ball. I'm going to try to zoom in on it. And the eagle. Because of the smoke. It's in the air. Okay, there it is on the, right in the middle of the frame. But it's very difficult to see because of the, well, look at the eagle. of all the smoke. I find the camera doesn't Mom, pick it up very well. Anyway, that's the end for today's video. And thank you for watching and have a great evening. Or wh whatever you're doing when you're watching it.